Good afternoon, guys. Today is November the 10th, Friday. Tomorrow I'll be at the Farmer's Market at uh, Seaside, and everything you see me talking about here today will be there with me. I'm going to do a real quick walkthrough, show you what we're harvesting today. We're starting here on row one and row two, Elegance Greens mix. These rows are about done. I might take a cut or two more off of them. I might even pull some of the larger purple mustards and transplant them. And this row, ne probably next time you see this row, it'll be something different. This all-star mix will take a cut off of it today. It looks good. I'm uh, happy about that. Maybe we'll get a few more cuttings on it. These rows right here, you see I got those T-posts there. Those are set up for uh, goat lead lines. And you see how they've already eaten down that center section. You'll see a couple of those goat lead lines around the market or around the, the garden. Um, you see there my quail tractor, what it's done to that row there, pretty much ate all the weeds up everywhere it's been sitting and uh, fertilizing it as well. That'll continue to go. These radishes here to the right looking great. We'll pull off of those. We'll have beautiful radishes this week. That arugula is really starting to look good. We'll take some cuts off of it. We're still pulling transplants out of that kale row. We'll harvest some of that kale this week. Those collards are looking just lovely. We'll get maybe five, ten pounds off of that this week. This mustard, we're going to pull probably 20 or more pounds this week. Um, mostly because we just have to. Uh, we had an order for five pounds of it. Uh, for um, the watercolor uh, songwriters festival art festival whatever it is tomorrow uh, something going on there but so we'll have a lot of mustard going out this is that first row of kale transplants here and it's looking great um, except for that one spot there in the beginning where I've told you all along it wasn't going to make it but I'll pull some more transplants fill them up I gave it plenty of time to show the proof that that technique wasn't going to work um this row here has got the beets on it they're already up and and going and looking good and i'll probably do kale transplants into this row intermingled into the beets as well and as soon as this the beets get up about another two or three maybe another two inches they're already up an inch and a half two inches but get up about four inches where i can really see them i'll come through and stir up hoe that and then i'll do the transplants over um see these two lead lines here uh you got the two t posts and then the two t posts there uh both of those are where i've been putting goats and you can see they've made quick work on that that grass uh where it has grown um chicken tractors are on their very last slot on this row well one of them is the other one has one more slot actually one's got one more slot to go and then the other one's got about three more slots to go um to be finished up and just because they arrived on these rows at different times they don't necessarily come together it's like when they finish they finish um in those rows once i pull them off i'll let the goats go through this section for a while eat it up and then till this this uh i'll probably plant this sometime uh mid-december with like a uh a 60 day um harvest or maturity and uh and then it, once i harvested it, it'd be you know just just right outside of the uh the precautionary zone for having fresh manure on the ground christian say hey man hey. my baby boy christian harvesting up carrots getting them ready for the market um we will likely do or try to do almost a full harvest off of this row probably leave maybe uh probably end up leaving about 60 percent of it just because it's it's not quite ready or we want a little bit more development out of it um that breakfast radish here is coming up and looking good give it some irrigation it looks a little dry and uh i put those scarlet carrots here you can see them coming up it's actually some of the greenest spots his shadow is on and you can't really see it but as they come up they'll be you know bushy and pretty and green just like those all right um these rows here still really haven't gotten to them yet still doing a little bit of work on them i really want to get some amendments out here uh from my compost piles and put in them just you know you can look at this dirt i mean you know it's just white sand with whatever organic matter i've been able to put into it 
there's a even a better example like you can see the transitions like which ones have been worked with more and then blam that's just like beat sand with random crap in it it's good look at that arugula that arugula is beautiful i uh i'm resisting cutting it this week and i think i'm gonna wait till next week to cut it this all-star will take cuts off of it and i actually might take some artisan heads off of this this week cut some of the larger uh heads and just just sell them as they are just whole heads um the turnips of course will harvest this week i'll probably pull some greens off of here and pull roots and greens off of here um and i might pull some roots and greens out of these uh um white globes or egg turnips and i think for now on like the rest of these turnips those will probably the the purple tops the ones all the way to the right will probably only come out roots and greens going forward these will probably only come out roots and greens going forward this one right here which is a seven tops which doesn't even really make a root it's only tops and that's where i'll be taking most of my top cuttings the rest of the season and i'm going to reseed purples and whites and i might even get into some japanese like uh, salad terms or something like that but i'm going to reseed those very soon that's probably what those rows are going to be used for um i plan to plant this row really really soon man if you want me to plant something that ain't planted tell me what you want me to plant in that row um and i know this row it doesn't look good and it's not amended i don't expect whatever i put there is going to do amazing it'll do pretty good so i'm thinking maybe a root vegetable maybe a turnip radish or a carrot um if you got a preference let me know um these beets i am going to pull these beets this week every one of them i don't care where they are i don't care if they're two inches tall they're gone and i'm taking this row back and i'm going to plant it with something this row right here same thing i need something to put in there if you want to see something i ain't got already or you want me to double down on something let me know i'll put in those rows swiss chard here i got some more swiss chard seeds yesterday and i will be seeding this uh more swiss chard in here um well as soon as i can uh, i might even get to it today might put one of the, the kids are here with me today because it's a uh, holiday memorial day i think maybe whatever um anyways okra still taking cuts off of it looking good these peas are duh, they're alive that's it there's two or three cucumber plants on here and i'm gonna tear up everything else leave those few cucumber plants let them you know however long they want to stay i'm gonna replant this with something i already have a new elegance greens mix planted here this is where those pumpkins were I told you when i planted them you know we'll see what happens don't expect much um they didn't do much and uh well now we got this elegant greens mix in there and i mean it looks like i'm definitely going to get a cutting or two off of it so we'll go from there um one other thing i don't know if you can see back that far but if you look on that back back row back there there's a and if you look this way you can see like it's a trail all the way around well that back back row there's a a uh a line that runs that way all the way along the fence and goes that way that was my onion row last year if you looked at the page you would have saw that well i'm putting down plastic on that and the bulbs are going to go in um and then we'll have we'll have onions all year long it's uh i'll pull them young big small i don't i mean whatever demand i have on them is what i'm going to pull thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video hope to see you at the market if you're interested in the csa let me know if you want to get involved with my farm and be part of it or just come out and hang out take a tour bring your family i don't care just let me know man hit me up thanks for your time and uh your support bye